Hi and welcome to another quick tip for Elemental. In this video I want to show you how you can easily create a global color scheme for your website and how you can update that and change that very quickly and easily or you can choose from a predefined selection. So let's take a look at how that's achieved in Elemental right now. So I've created some basic building block elements on a page and as you can see we've got some color schemes going on. We've got a blue title section, red buttons and so on, links and things like that are red. Now that's great but we may want to change that and instead of having to do that on an individual basis we can do it globally. Now, this is pretty cool and very easy to do. If we take a look at the elemental panel on the left hand side you can see we've got elements and we've got global. We also have a couple of little buttons in the top left and right hand corners of this particular section. What we're going to do is we're going to jump over to this one that looks like the typical hamburger menu and when we click on there you can see we've got a whole range of options that are specific to all of Elemental, not just the element or widget that we're currently working on. So we can do things like assign global colors, global fonts, set up the color picker and so on. So we're going to concentrate in this quick tip is the global colors. So if I expand that out you can see we've got a color palette that's already being used and if we take a look the blue title, the red buttons, the text being a dark grey and the primary being almost black, you can see those things have been set up and they're being used at the moment. Now let's just say for example we don't want our links and our buttons to be red, we want to choose a different colour. Well we can just choose that by selecting the accent option and we can easily come in and choose a completely alternative colour and you can see anything that uses that accent colour throughout the entire site, any of the widgets, now is automatically updated and changed. Same goes for things like the secondary colour, so we may want to have a more complementary colour, so let's choose a green. And you can see now that's being cascaded right the way through the design. So we can do that very quickly and easily. We can reset it if we don't want. We can also discard it or we can hit apply. We also have a range of predefined color palettes that are part of Elemental itself. So you can see we've got a couple of different options. and If we want to, we can choose those and just test them out, see if we like them, choose a different one. And you can see the beauty of Elemental is the fact that all these things are updated in real time on the screen as soon as you click it. So it makes it very quick and easy to be able to try all these colors and any color combinations you want. Now a consistent colour theme on a website is something that helps set it apart from an amateur looking website. Now you may be using something like a photograph as the basis for the colour scheme you want to use or branding, logo and so on. But this can be a little bit difficult to kind of find those complementary colours at times. So one thing I'd recommend doing, and this is a kind of a bonus tip, is if you jump over to Adobe Cooler, you'll see this allows us to choose colour schemes and we can input a colour code if we want to. And that's pretty cool. And we've also got a couple of other options on the left hand side on how we want the complementary colours or the triad colours and so on to work. But there's something you can also do that makes this even cooler. Pardon the pun is if you take a look at you've got this little sort of camera icon on the right hand side what we can do is we can create a color palette from an image that we upload so we click we can choose an image and I'm just going to choose this photograph that will upload that and automatically go through and find the colors that are the strongest throughout that entire image and then we could use those as the basis for our website so we can easily see that with this particular photograph these five colors are the kind of colors it thinks are the best you can see we've also got different color moods now available to us in the left hand side which we can go through and we can adjust so we can choose bright, we can choose muted and we can go through and we can easily fine tune the colors to get exactly what we want using this image or any image that we upload. We can then just transfer those color codes straight over into our uh, website. And you can see then we can quickly and easily create and build up a really complimentary great looking color palette to use in Elemental on our website. Well I hope you found this tip useful. If you did please hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add. Give the video a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else on the channel please pop those in the comment section below. Until next time, take care.